Welcome to a new episode of Skyrim. If you enjoy the content, you can like, subscribe, and comment. Today, we're gonna report our success to Harken. So, we are going out the cave. Yes. Gonna look where I came, I came from. Yes, we need to go here upstairs. There we go. gonna go to castle the castle and we're gonna report to Harken There we go. Well done. Somehow I knew it would be you and Serana who found our moth priest. Surprised you weren't at the last meeting with our lord. I have made the mod breach my troll. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult a task. I just assumed he'd sent for both of us. The Dungard were there, they fought well, but not well enough. They are determined and well armed, but foolish if they think they can defy us. We will deal with them in time. Well, your thrall awaits, and we have given him the Elder Scroll. Command him to read it, and let us hear the words of prophecy together. Okay. Here he is. Master, I have done as you asked and traveled here. I have a new task for you, Troll. Of course. What is it that you need me to do? You must read an Elder Scroll. Ah, yes, the Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. Then you may begin your reading. Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Okay, now we're gonna speak to Harkon. That was not as useful as I would have liked. Even so, you did well. Do you know where these other scrolls are? My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. 
But I have waited this long, and we are so very close now. I can wait a bit longer. Okay. Life here has many advantages. Do you have a moment to talk? What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Why didn't you say something earlier? Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. Do you trust Harkon at all? It's not a question of trust. He's just obsessed with the prophecy. And from what I could tell, a thousand extra years of obsession haven't made him any better. I should have found him a hobby. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. We can't waste time on quick tick clues. If you have a better lead than this, I'm all ears. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? How about right here, in the castle? Wait, castle. that almost makes sense. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard here. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. How can we get in without your father noticing? Trust me. I lived here a very long time, and I know every nook and cranny. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Let's go. Well, I don't take just anyone into the secret parts of the place I grew up. Get rid of this interloper and you and I can be on our way. I'll wait for you at the dock. Still here. It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. But uh, Lydia is at uh, White Run, so we can always find her. This was the episode for today. Have a nice day. Bye bye.